If the truth comes out and we learn that anyone blocked our ability to order silver on purpose because they thought spot price was going to take off when the market opened up, do not forget that next time they go into advertising mode, needing your business. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and staying safe. It's a great day to have a great day. Today, I want to talk about the spot price of silver temporarily reaching the $30 an ounce mark. And I also want to give everyone a little bit of a warning or an alert, something that I think we should all be aware of coming right up. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Three brand new videos over there. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today, we have to talk about the spot price of silver. Now, as I'm recording the video, spot price is about $28.28. It's been going up and down, up and down, up and down, as per usual, but quite a bit more these last couple of hours, or for the last 18 hours, I should say. Now, for those of you who didn't see yesterday's video, you should probably watch that before this one. This is going to be somewhat of a part two. And in yesterday's video, I talked about how many of these massive online precious metal dealing websites blocked our ability to order new silver. I went into full detail in yesterday's video. Go watch that if you don't know what I'm talking about. But long story short, our ability to order silver was blocked. A lot of them were saying that they're either out of stock or they're saying we have to wait till 6 p.m. when the market opens up or they were saying that we need to expect 5 to 10 additional business days for everything to get shipped out. A lot of them were blocking our ability to order silver until the market reopened and somehow magically they would be able to take orders. Now, I actually did a live stream starting about 15 minutes before the market opened up last night because it was Sunday yesterday. Spot price was locked in place. It was about maybe about $27, give or take, and it was locked in place all weekend. And then Sunday night, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, when the market opens back up, we would get a little bit of an idea of what's going on. And I did a live stream reacting to this and... It was about two hours long. I don't expect you to watch it, so here's a 22 second summary. Here we go. To the moon, mother effers. Get some. That's pretty much what happened. It was very anticlimactic. A lot of people were saying it's going to open up and immediately go to $35. A lot of people were going to say it's going to be $50. A lot of people were saying it's going to go crazy. And I was sitting there on the live stream saying, please, please don't do anything crazy. I still need another 5 to 10 years of being able to stack as aggressively as possible before spot price does anything wild. And surprise, surprise, it only went up about $1.97 at the very beginning. And then it actually dropped back down. And then it went back up, and then it dropped back down. And nothing too intense took place. So, I said to myself, well, we're probably going to get far more information tomorrow, which is today. Woke up today to find out that silver, very briefly, surpassed the $30 an ounce mark for the first time in years. This was pretty big news. However, when I woke up, it was no longer at the $30 mark. It was actually back down to the $28, $29 mark, pretty much where it's at right now. So the volatility right now, it's going up, it's going down, it's going up, it's going down. It's I, I, I said it yesterday, it's going to be a roller coaster of a day. It's probably going to be a roller coaster for the next two weeks more of a roller coaster than typical. Now, I also wanted to talk about something in addition to the spot price of silver hitting $30. And it's something that 
I think a lot of people are going to not even notice or completely forget about, but I think it's important that we talk about this. The online precious metal dealing websites that blocked our ability to order silver yesterday, I don't work for any of them. I don't know anyone who works for any of them. I don't know what goes on behind closed doors. I'm sure the smaller sites probably did not have the ability to take new orders. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. I don't like to jump to conclusions or make accusations because I don't know for sure. But what I found interesting, and I'm not going to use any names. You can go look for yourself and, and I'm sure you could figure it out very quickly. Some of the sites that just last night were telling us that they were completely out of stock are somehow, miraculously, back in stock with $15 over spot premiums. All I'm going to say is if the truth comes out and we learn that anyone blocked our ability to order silver on purpose because they thought spot price was going to take off when the market opened up, and they wanted to prevent us from being able to pick up silver at a lower price, all I'm going to say is do not forget that next time they go into advertising mode needing your business. Support your local coin shops more. The local coin shops either in your town or the neighboring towns or even if they're 30, 40 minutes away, an hour away, we take them for granted. And I said during last night's live stream, I think maybe halfway through or towards the end, I said in last night's live stream, we should be supporting our local coin shops to the best of our ability for two different reasons. Number one, screw the precious metals. Forget the precious metals for a second. Reason number one is because they are a small business. They're not a massive company that takes and ships out orders worldwide. They're a small business, whatever it is that they sell. Forget the precious metals, forget the coins, the rounds, the bars, the silver, the gold, forget that for a second. They're a small business, regardless of what they sell. Support small businesses. Small businesses need our support, they need our help. And we should actually get great satisfaction just by simply supporting them. That's reason number one. Reason number two is because oftentimes, the local coin shop in your town or nearby, the ones that you visit or have access to, oftentimes, even though they're much more small scale and maybe they don't have massive inventory or the, the greatest selection, but oftentimes they'll have really good deals. And if you're a regular customer of theirs, if you are consistently showing your support if you are someone who's always stopping by, even if it's just to pick up a couple of little pieces of silver. My first time going to a coin shop, I just picked up one troy ounce of silver. That's it. That's all you have to do every once in a while. Stop by, pick up a coin or two, or a handful of 90%. You don't have to go in and, and dump a couple thousand dollars on the table. You don't have to do that. You might not even be able to do that. But if you're a regular customer of theirs and you're always showing your support. Small business owners typically have the you scratch my back, I scratch yours mentality. And if you are stopping by their coin shop every week or every month or every other month to pick up just a handful of silver at a time, you don't have to pick up, you know, 200 ounces of silver every time you stop by, even if you just pick up two, three, four, five, ten troy ounces of silver or whatever. And you know each other's face. You know each other by name. You're friendly with one another. You don't just stop by, pick up some silver, and run out the door. You stop by, you pick up some silver, you have a conversation, you talk to each other about your stacking goals, or maybe you're a collector, but you're collecting goals, what coins, rounds, and bars you're into, your reason for stacking. There goes my lights, by the way. I don't have very much confidence that I'll have power. In fact, I live in New Jersey. Woke up to a crazy blizzard today. I'll put a picture right here on screen. So much snow, it actually took down my entire canopy. And it's 
a canopy that's so big it covers pretty much the entire driveway. Whole thing came crashing down. And yes, that's my dog. He was built for the snow. He doesn't mind. Anyway, back on track. Local coin shops. They need our support. They have great deals. They have the you scratch my back, I scratch yours mentality. And guess what? The local coin shop where you would be going as a buyer and they would be in the position of a seller, guess what? The tables may turn. You might be in a situation where you need to or want to part ways with a portion of your stack. Maybe you're going through a rough time financially, financial hardships. Or maybe you're getting ready to retire and you wanna just liquidate a little bit to supplement your retirement. Or maybe spot price has gone up significantly since you started stacking and you're saying, hey, you know what? I'm cashing out. I'm going to go roll around in these dollar bills. That's what I'm going to do. Regardless of your reason for needing to or wanting to liquidate, the easiest way to liquidate is typically at the local coin shop. So when the tables are turned and you're no longer the buyer, they're no longer the seller, you're the seller, they're the buyer. And if they know you, if your friends if you're a regular supporter of theirs, they're gonna help you out far more than they're gonna help out the random person whose face they've never seen before, somebody just stops by and- Hey, I got some silver from a family member. I don't want it, give me cash. They're probably gonna give them spot or maybe below spot. But if you've been supporting them for months, years, consistently, a regular customer, you're always there showing your support. You're always there giving them business. They're going to be far more likely. I can't guarantee that they're going to do it, but they're going to be far more likely to give you spot or above spot, depending on the coin. If there are a bunch of generic rounds, maybe you'll get spot or 50 cents over spot or a dollar over spot, maybe more. Depends on the coin shop. Depends on the coin. But point being is, they're gonna help you out. You showed them support all these years. Now when the shoe is on the other foot, they're gonna do what they can to help you out. They might not be able to afford to give you three, four, five, six dollar premiums, but they're gonna do the best they can. So I think it's really important to support your local coin shop. And by the way, during the live stream last night, some people were saying that they don't have a coin shop in their area, or some people were commenting on yesterday's video saying they don't have a coin shop in their area. It doesn't have to specifically be a coin shop. It could be an antique shop. Go on Google. Look for antique shops in your area. A lot of antique shops have old coins. I got one in my town. In fact, my local coin shop is an antique shop, but they have a whole section dedicated to coins or a pawn shop, potentially. If you're gonna go with a pawn shop, I would make sure to go for the government minted coins or maybe the sunshine bars and rounds. If you have the decoder lens, you can just scan over back of it, proof of authenticity. I wouldn't go for a random 20 ounce block of silver that's just silver in color. I mean, of course you could test that it's silver, but point being is, if you're gonna go with a pawn shop, I would go for something a little bit more reputable in terms of like a government minted coin or something like that. Or it could be, I was recently told that thrift stores carry coins. That I didn't know. I think thrift stores are cool. I never went into a thrift store looking for coins though. I've actually only gone to a thrift store maybe like two times in my life. But if they carry coins, they carry coins. Doesn't matter where you get the coins from. Just another idea. Just another alternative, in addition to a coin shop. Could be a pawn shop, antique shop, thrift shop. Plenty of coins out there. So, support small businesses, and do not forget, next time you see a commercial from a company that needs your business, and you remember, hey, I remember January 2021 when you cut off the ability to place orders 
until spot price went up. And then when spot price went up, you cranked up the premiums as well. And coincidentally, you did the same thing 10 months before when spot price got smacked. I'm not calling for a boycott. I'm not calling for anybody to protest any online precious metal dealing websites. That's why I'm not using anybody's name, any coin shop or online website's name. I don't know what goes on behind closed doors. And I'm not saying to do this now. I'm just saying if the truth comes out. Just remember, you don't have to do anything. I'm not saying to not shop with them. I'm just saying, remember that. All I'm going to say. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what are your thoughts on the spot price going kind of crazy right now. I, I Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to see with my own eyes spot price hitting $30. I saw it $29. I saw it $28. I saw it $27. I went and looked for some pictures, some charts and graphs that would show $30. And fortunately, I was able to find those. But I didn't see it with my own eyes. And I'm glad I didn't. That would have been a heartbreaker. But I want to know, what are your thoughts on everything going on right now? I mean, spot price is currently sitting at 28.28, which, by the way, that's bid. Ask is 29.28. So now bid versus ask, that spread is a dollar apart now, where normally it's only 10 cents apart, which is another thing you got to keep a close eye on. That's another thing you have to remember. That's another thing you got to pay attention to. Bid versus ask. But I want to know your thoughts. What do you think of $30 silver? I mean, it's 28 and change right now. It was just $29 earlier this morning. It's just $30 earlier this morning. But it's pretty much almost $30 right now. What are your thoughts on $30 an ounce silver? Are you hoping for $30 an ounce silver? Maybe $35, $40 an ounce silver. Or are you someone more like me and you're hoping to see some red days? You're hoping to see silver go back down to 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22 maybe. I personally do not believe we're going to see silver under $20 again, unfortunately. It would be fantastic. I would love for that to happen. Get an even better bang for my buck. But something's telling me I don't think we're going to see silver in the teens again. I don't think it's going to be $19, $18 or anything like that. I, I think the mid-20s is probably the new normal. And who knows, with all the hype and excitement going on, hype and excitement really drives up the price of anything. I mean, just look, look what happened to GameStop last week. So who knows what spot price is going to be doing over the next couple of days. Who knows what spot price is going to do this week. Only time will tell. But let me know in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on the idea of $30 an ounce silver? And by the way, gold could be going up as well. It's not just silver. It's all the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms. Not on YouTube's terms. My terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new precious metal video over there. Brand new stock market video over there. And brand new prepping review video over there. Go check them out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,600. And I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, Please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two-ounce silver Kraken coin 
which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And once again, I want you guys to head on down in the comments and let me know. What are your thoughts on the idea of $30 an ounce silver? Obviously, if the spot price is $30, you're not going to be getting silver for $30. It's going to be probably $33 to $35 minimum right now because of the premiums. But what are your thoughts on the spot price breaking its way into the $30 range? Is that good news or bad news to you? Are you excited and ready for silver to officially take off? Or do you hope it falls back down? And in reference to everything that I said earlier in the video about supporting the local coin shop, mainly because they're a small business, but also because oftentimes they have pretty good deals. And if they don't have what you want, then you can let them know what you want, and a lot of them will just order it for you. So coin shops are great for a lot of different reasons. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.